Science Bites. What does it mean to be human? Philosophers, theologians, and scientists have pondered this question for thousands of years. For most of that time, we thought our species was unique. But in today's Science Bite, museum scientist Steve Nash explains that our closest human ancestors, the Neanderthals, are genetically closer to us than we'd previously thought even a few short months ago. We once thought that evolution occurred on a single straight line, from simple creatures like the amoeba to more complex creatures like fully modern apes and humans. But evolution is much more complicated than that. Humans, like other animals, have had many, many different forms going back through time. Evolution is actually a complex web, not a single straight line. What does this mean for us? You've all heard of Neanderthals. In pop culture, they're known as cavemen, and they're shown stumbling around the landscape. But archaeologists have long known three facts about Neanderthals that changed this picture entirely. First of all, they existed in Ice Age Europe and Asia. These were extremely difficult environments. Second, they existed in those environments using only a stone tool technology to survive. And third, they lived for over 200,000 years. Their success for 200,000 years makes us want to evaluate what it means for us to be successful as a species. Archaeologists working at Mount Carmel in Israel, as well as other sites around Europe and Asia, have long known that Neanderthals and fully modern humans coexisted. How do we know this? Because there are layers of Neanderthal stone tools and skeletons, overlain by layers of fully modern human stone tools and skeletons, overlain again by Neanderthal stone tools and skeletons on up through the sequence. We've known that this coexistence lasted for over 60,000 years. What we haven't known is whether or not they talked, whether or not they made it, whether or not they fell in love, whether or not they produced offspring. We haven't known that until now. Svante Pabo and his colleagues at the Max Planck Institute in Germany recently published a paper in the journal Nature in which they described a small amount of Neanderthal DNA. This DNA suggests that non-African modern humans, that means possibly you and certainly me, have between 1 and 4% Neanderthal DNA present in our genes. It means that fully modern humans, after evolving in and migrating out of Africa, successfully mated with Neanderthals in Europe, in Asia, and in the Middle East. This makes the extinction of the Neanderthals even more puzzling. Why didn't they make it? Why did we? So what does it mean to be human? Pabo's study demonstrates that Neanderthals were more human than we thought just several months ago. The good news is science is cumulative and we're still working on these complex questions using collections like those held at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. It's an exciting time to be a scientist, so please stay tuned.